All right, guys, so as promised, I said I would show you guys how I have done my entire studio in the basement. And since I've been snowed in, I've been able to finish it off. So I'm starting off with this contact paper that I actually got from Lowe's. Um, I think it was about $10. I only needed one even though I bought two. And um, what I did like about it is it did have the, the measuring lines on it. I'm pretty good at just doing it without using a ruler anyway. So <laughs> I just started cutting it and laying it out. And unfortunately, it wasn't the contact paper that would actually fill the entire tabletop, which these I got from Ikea a long time ago. They're pretty damaged, but I figured covering them with this white contact paper would make it look a little bit better. But because this paper was not completely to cover the entire tabletop, I had to cut it in pieces. So I chose to do it the long way. That way the part towards the back would have that small seam in the back, if you guys get what I mean. So I just cut it to the length and the width that I needed it for that last back piece. And I just put it on. So I did have two Ikea tables. This is a much longer one. And this was the one that I chose to use for both my serger and my sewing machine, although I have four sewing machines. And then I decided to put the, um, the shelf, the only shelving that I prefer to use. I didn't want to put too many holes in the ceiling anyway. Well, not in the ceiling, but in the walls anyway. I just put this here. Uh, kind of decorated those little drawers, chest of drawers that I had from my walk-in closet before. Put all of my uh, sewing tools and threads and everything on the shelf. And that was pretty much it. Now these were on a previous wall. I pulled them off. You will see what wall it was on once I'm done. But I decided to go ahead and use like, um, like some two-sided tape type uh, mounting tape to put these up instead of putting holes in the walls. Um, it's pretty sturdy, so I use that so that it wouldn't fall down, but it wouldn't tear the wall as well. And this is where they originally were, which was on the like adjacent side of that wall. And I had to clean that uh, those mounting tapes off so I had to use a razor blade to do that. I used some spackle that I got actually from the dollar store, go figure, and just to kind of clear up some holes and things like that and, you know, parts of the drywall that was ripped off. And I had to use a sanding tool, like just to sand it down and make sure that it was smooth and down. That way I didn't have to pretty much do any painting of this wall because it really didn't need it as much as I thought I needed it to put the shelving and everything back in place and started placing all of my books. You guys may not know, I taught fashion design, merchandising and marketing for pretty much 10 years. So I still have a lot of my books and things from teaching class. Then over off to the side, which you can see I do have my dress form. I do know how to drape and draft patterns. Um, I just decided to work on this wall over where my iron board is and just place all of the tools that I like to grab like the quickest. These are like my hand sewing tools and draping tools and drafting tools. So I just put them there so that they're easy for me to grab when I need them. And here another like hanging uh, hook just to put my scissors and things on and just kind of decorated this small little area here. No big deal. So last but not least, I wanted to get this personal salon area done. So I only had to mount two things, um, which actually seemed like it was much more. But this is me mounting the mirrors over in this area and then just kind of aligning them a certain way. Um, this is just kind of like a salon vanity that I'm going to use. Eventually, I'm going to... Um, 
buy a salon chair in this area but we'll see. And then these are the vanity lights I actually used in my walk-in closet, which you can see that, you know, entrance door right there. That's where my walk-in closet used to be in the basement, but I moved it upstairs. And so I decided to use these uh, vanity lights to put right over my salon station. My salon station are built with uh, shelving and things that I've gotten from Home Depot, Kmart, Walmart over the years and have been using them in rooms. So I haven't spent much money on pretty much redecorating anything in this area. So here we are guys, the final result of this room. Well, not room, the basement, my studio basement. Got it done in about a couple of days throughout the week where I was snowed in. You guys know I hate Michigan, but hey, it's my home. So everything is pretty much set up and done. The only last thing I will need to focus on is clearing some of the walls or cleaning some of the areas of the walls and the flooring but everything is in place. Everything is ready for me to start doing more videos in fashion, more videos on wig making and all that sort of stuff. So there is a few things that I'm gonna need to purchase for um, this basement studio a little bit later. You guys will see what that is, but just showing you a nice little tour of what my space looks like. Now in this area, it's pretty nice to have everything well organized and in their drawers, where they need to be, where I can get to them very quickly. If you guys are interested in me doing a live tour of my studio, please thumbs this video up. Let me know that you like it, that you actually would love to see a live tour. I would definitely do that. Like I said, last thing I need to do in that area is buy a salon chair. I'm actually gonna find a salon chair for my uh, personal salon in the basement. So hope you guys enjoyed it. The next video you will see has everything to do with my makeup vanity. Yes, I got another one. I will make sure that video is posted pretty soon. Thumbs this video up if you like it. See you in the next one.